we got the hex price. It's been moving along with Bitcoin, meaning when Bitcoin's been going up, it's been going up. Uh, and when Bitcoin's been going down, it's going down. Bounced off the resistance, and we're headed back for 2.1 cents, 2.1 cent target. Unless we reverse and break above, in which case we're headed for 4.6. So if I said Bitcoin's going up, the relief rally's not over. I'm going to say that Hex, Hex is going to hit that 4.6 cents. It's going to hit that 4.6 cent target. Also, it's been massively bearish, like even more than Bitcoin. So it's got to have a relief rally, at least a 4.6. It's got to happen. And I think the rest will be really dependent on Pulse Chain. But this has been so bearish. We've been so beaten up. We are due a relief rally. Let's go to the RSI. Any divergences here? Yeah, I don't even know if I'm convinced of divergences because this is a bullish divergence. Is it? Do you go to the by the purple or the yellow? Higher high, lower high, lower high, higher high, and dump. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I think we're going to 4.6. That's my guess. Don't trade. Traders always lose at least in comparison to long-term hodlers, and you could lose all your money, so don't do it. But what do you guys think? You guys think we're headed to 4.6 or we're going straight back down to a penny? I want to see what you guys are saying in the chat. We got Isaac Montoya. 100, 100, 100. Fire muscles. Nice. Love you too, man. Yeetus Lab. We're going to six cents with Hex. And the next is going back to a penny. Pick one, pick one Yetus Lab, and welcome to the show. I haven't seen you before. So please like and subscribe. And then go to furufinance.com and book yourself one on one or become a Patreon. 4.6. Yeah, I, I like that call 4.6. I'm in good company. I'm in good company with Hex Squid. Yeah, so I guess that's really it. I just think we've been so oversold that we need a rip at least. Even if you want to say we're going down to a penny, which I think I'm leaning towards we're not, but who knows? We need a rip. It's overdue. It's overdue. Like even here, like we went down so much and there was a nice pump. Nice pump from like 13, wicked up to 35. So... That's like a little bit less than a 3x, a three. So like it was like a 280% pump. I think it's got to happen sooner or later. Also here we had a little bit, a little bit of that, those fake pumps. I hate them. But uh, again, I don't think we're going to have, we might hit the bottom. We might have hit the bottom, but we're not getting into that euphoria where it's up and up and up for another probably year. Probably a year or perhaps a little bit less than a year. But uh, that's what I'd say. That's my market outlook. And for more on my market outlook, a good thing to do would be subscribe to the Furu Finance newsletter. Let me actually link that in the, in the description. Yeah, you get exclusive market outlook here. Go click that, put your email in, and end encrypted weekly newsletter exclusive content. Isaac, I see Penny after Fed pause. We will start going up. Hmm. Penny after, when's Fed pause? Two more, two more months. It's like bullshit chain launch. People are saying 25 because we got the 6.5 CPI and then what? It's two more months, 225s and then pause. 
I don't know. It, that, it really depends on the CPI also, because if let's say the next CPI comes out a little higher, which maybe it would be because we had three lower in a row, then we're probably we're probably not going to get even a pause until at least three months. Maybe that could throw us off a month. I think, I think, I think, I think a 25 basis point rate hike is already going to be bullish for the market, but we got 22 watching. I hope you're enjoying. I hope you like and subscribe and sign up to the newsletter right over here. Moving on, we got our Twitter or crypto bubbles. I'm sorry. Green day. It's not green day. It's week. We could if we change it to day. Yeah, we're going to keep it on day. Day's more accurate. FTT dumping. Everything's down. Chili's. Hex 5.9. Trust wallet token down. SHIB is pumping a little bit, probably because of that Shibirium nonsense. <laughs> and H bar. Everybody pushes H bar, and its price performance was pretty trash. But who knows? You see it a lot over TikTok because I've been on TikTok for a little bit. But you know what I've been seeing a lot over TikTok lately? I've been seeing Hex. In fact, I just hit. I just hit over 500 followers on TikTok. So please follow me on TikTok. A thousand, I get to live stream. So yeah. But that's it for the crypto bubbles. And then we got Hex daily stats. Checking Hex on the daily. We got 32 changing current holders and 35 changing current stakers. So double digits as always pretty much. But uh, it's it's been just going up. More people coming in, less people leaving. But uh, lately, it's also been, it's been really like more money leaving just because we did a 10,000 X. So, uh, but we're down a lot. So again, I think we're very oversold and I think we're headed to 4.6. Shout out to Hex Squid. Crypto Chino. I think we're cooling down a little before the next leg up. The next leg up. You call this a leg up? I don't know. I do believe we won't see 1.7 again, and we hit bottom in the long term. Zooming out. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Uh, zooming out, I think we'll continue to make higher lows. I think you might be very right that we hit the bottom. Um, but you also might be wrong. <laughs> if I had to pick one, I'd say the, the crypto bottoms, and especially... Because regulation's coming in. And that's something that Gareth Sullaway talked about. That regulation would would uh, bring back con investor confidence. It will allow for the big money to come in. So we want big money, but a lot of people don't want regulation. Um, I think if we're talking strictly price performance and we're not political, you probably want regulation. But um, we're going to get to that later. But thanks, Crypto Chino.